Hi guys, it's Joe here from Rufio. Welcome to the channel. If this is your first time here, welcome aboard. You should definitely hit subscribe and the notification bell before we go any further and you realise how fucking garbage this content is. And if this is not your first time on the channel, you may want to give your head a wobble. Now quickly before we get started, if you've been affected by today's news of the limited and forbidden list and you need to go out and get yourself a new deck because your deck got fucked, you should check out the channel sponsors, Jam Jam Cards UK. There will be a link down in the description to their eBay store and you'll get yourself a cheeky discount courtesy of yours truly on their eBay store. Now anyway, now that I've shielded for the channel sponsors, let's talk about what we're really here for. No, I'm not going to pretend to do one of those live reactions and run into the fucking wall head first. I'm here to just have a quick chat about the limited and forbidden list changes that are coming into effect next month, the 1st of July. So as explained, this is just going to be a quick quick chat about what the changes are and what my thoughts are on them. I was actually planning to do a wish list as I normally do, but this came actually a little bit quicker than I was expecting, so there you go. So firstly, let's talk about the banned cards. Of course, LP is on there. Fuck LP, I'm happy that this has happened. And fuck Dragon Link, it's been around way too long. The Guard Dragon stuff is just bullshit, so it's about time that this got hit as well. And yeah, I mean... I. I don't really need to say more than that. I'm sure you all agree, unless, of course, you play Dragon Link. But the deck costs about fucking £10.50. So why do you really care? You haven't lost any money on it. Now, as for Dryden, this is one that I kind of saw coming when the OCG one happened. But I really don't think it was all that needed, to be quite honest with you. Dryden was okay. Sure, it allowed people to play Zoo. And yeah, you know, Kalami has this thing against Zoo. But there you go. But honestly, I thought if they were going to hit anything, weirdly, I thought they were going to hit something like Borbo. Now, if you're not following here, the reason I'm saying this is, of course, because that's how you set up the easy Zeus for the most part. And I think in and of itself, the Zoo package isn't really that toxic. I think in the modern game, it's really not that crazy. And I think, honestly, it could have just stayed. They could have just either banned Zeus or hit it to one so people couldn't abuse it. And then if they really wanted to ban anything, maybe just ban Borbo so people can't just do the cheeky little direct attack, make Zeus, wee fun shenanigans. But maybe you disagree. I'd like to hear down in the comments. If you do, I'll probably just ignore your comments, though. Now, on to the limits. Hello, Darkness, my old friend. Miscellaneousaurus has been limited. I finally, finally got to grips with a deck that I wanted to play and then they go and hit it. I mean, I probably deserve it because Misk is kind of broken. It's kind of a bullshit card, but yeah, it's kind of sad too. I, I, honestly, I think that this is a much bigger hit than people are feeling like it will be. I've heard a lot of people optimistic about what that this isn't going to make that much difference to the deck, and they're going to play Litho now, and they're going to play Diagram now, and honestly, I think it's going to make a much bigger difference than you realise. Deck before didn't really have to think about cards like Nibiru, whereas now it just auto loses to it unless it can make Dolka, which means it can't make half of the combo that it wants to do because, well, it's going to get nibbed. Now, by no means is the deck dead. Of course, it's going to be playable, but is it going to be the tier 1.5 kind of deck that it's been this format? Probably not. But it is an understandable hit as well, I guess, if you're on the opposing side of the field watching your opponent just go, Misk, 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 every turn. It's kind of sad, so... Yeah, probably getting hit is about right. I actually thought, if anything, they might hit one of the babies. Well, the baby, the only one that anyone really gives a shit about. Hit that to one, because then people can't go combo like crazy and everything else will be fine. But, eh, what are you going to do? Scott Crabat Joker to one. Well, I've been saying for a while that I thought that this might happen. And quite frankly, I don't think it makes all that much difference. It means pendulum players can play, but they still don't have Electromite. So really, does it make that much of a difference? Probably not. And now, of course, naturally, they've gone ahead and done this at the same time that they've went and released Engage for some weird reason. So everyone's going to be winning anti-spell fragrances or at least siding them. So uh, I guess Pendulum players are still fucked. Then the Striker Dragon to one another obvious hit to Dragon Link. Uh, yeah, fuck Dragon Link. That's absolutely fine. Mirage Stalio to one. Again, another card that I've been saying for ages probably could come off the list. I honestly don't think Salad will do all that much, to be honest with you. Mirage Stalio to one is absolutely fine. And then, of course, he alluded to Engage. I 
don't understand, but sure. I mean, I've seen a lot of rejoicing players out there. And to be honest with you, in as much as you know, people moan about striker, it is a pretty skillful deck. You've got to know how to tempo things. And I think even with one engage, it doesn't make it that absolutely insane. Of course, there are going to be a lot of people out there that are going to try, and people are going to play Mind Striker now. So if you didn't have back row hate sider before, you're going to need to now. Now onto the semi limits, double Iris Magician. Again, we've already talked about pendulums. I don't think this is going to make that big of a difference. I think it could go to two with absolutely no real issues whatsoever. Of course, Pendulum players are going to rejoice and then they're going to see that anti-spell fragrance and then just scoop anyway. And then finally to three, Symbol of Heritage. I actually don't know all that much about this card because, well, I wasn't around when it was getting abused, to be quite honest with you. However, the kind of things that I'm seeing are people talking about Triple Lone Fire Blossom and all this kind of shenanigans. And does it do much in the modern format? I guess we'll find out. There's part of me that wonders if this couldn't be used with the likes of Infernoble and maybe be a little bit bullshit because I've heard things about Power Tool Dragon and this and that and the other. Um, it remains to be seen. But anyway, like I said, I just wanted to do a quick roundup of what's happened on the list. I'm sure you're all well aware. I just wanted to share my absolute nonsense thoughts so you could listen to me and say, you know what, Rufio, you don't have a fucking clue what you're on about. But anyway, that's enough waffling on from me. Thank you very much for coming along. I do really appreciate it. And I will see you in the next one. This content is brought to you in association with my buddies over at Jam Jam Cards UK. You can find the links to the eBay store and the Facebook page in the description.